Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is R-E-I-S-E-R. Today, I'm going to do a demonstration on the thermal expansion of metals. So let's get to the demonstration. Metals have a coefficient of thermal expansion, which means that they change in size with a change in temperature. That rate of change of size with respect to a change in temperature is the coefficient of thermal expansion. I have a rod. A copper rod. It's so long in length. And here is a measuring device. I can place the rod on the measuring device and line it up. Here is at 15. I suggest that if I light a flame and I heat the rod, it will change in length. Watch the length change. It will change in length according to the formula. Change in length equals the coefficient of thermal expansion times the original length times the change in temperature. I'm heating the rod. And if you look very closely, it's past 15 centimeters. Next demonstration, the ball and hoop. Here I have a cylinder, a ring, and a ball. And an open flame. If I pass the ball, it will pass through the ring. But what happens if I heat the sphere, the ball? I'm heating the ball in a flame. Heating it in a flame. Now let's watch what happens. After I'm done heating the sphere, will the metal sphere, made of copper, pass through the loop? And it does not. The sphere got larger. The volume increased. I turned my fuel off too soon. Another demonstration. I have a bimetallic strip. On one side is copper and on the other side is stainless steel. One of these metals has a higher change in temperature uh, coefficient of thermal expansion than the other metal does. That means that the metal with the higher coefficient of thermal expansion will expand greater than the other metal. And it will cause this bimetallic strip to lean to one side. Let's take a look. and it is bending. It is bending. And it has bent along the side of the stainless steel. 
meaning that the copper side has a greater coefficient of thermal expansion. Now I have some other sheets of metal. Here is a metal rod, uh, uh, here is a metal sphere with a circle in it. Here is a metal sphere, I mean a metal uh, circle with a hole in it. And here's another one, all made out of the same metal. My question to you is this, if I put this in an oven and heat it, will the hole in the middle get larger? Will the circumference of this circle get larger? Indeed it will. But here's a question that I asked for you. Here's another circle made of metal and cut out of the same metal, it is not welded or anything like that, is a crossbar, just like this. It's all cut out of the same piece of metal. Will this circle warp or will it stay circular if I place it in an oven and heat it uniformly? And I look forward to your replies in the comments section on the answer to that question. I've received comments regarding that when I taught uh, high school and college physical science and most of the answers were wrong. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down.